Hi all, I have another amazing game from David Grosvenor. This is Leela ID 507, so one of the latest networks at the time of this video. Again, Stockfish 7 in a tournament, just to see how well it would do. And Leela was playing uh, on a GTX 1060 graphics card, Stockfish 7 playing on a 2.80 gigahertz 4 CPU setup. So E4 from Leela. C5 Sicilian defense, knight f3, knight c6, bishop b5, e6, white castles. This is the end of the book given to both engines here. So knight f6 was played. Leela took on c6, d takes, d3, bishop e7. Now a4 was played, queen c7, e5, knight d5. And now a5, black castles. Rook e1. So white has a comfortable grip on the dark squares here. We have h6, knight bd2, and a nice c4 square to play with, as well as e4. Rook d8. But you might find this next move a little bit surprising. A shocking move, maybe. Can you guess if I give you five seconds? Pause the video. Okay. An iconic Leela rook left rook a4. We have rook d7. The rook swings across to g4, not minding about the little a pawn. I mean, this pawn's pen, so there's maybe knight c4 and bishop takes h6. Black dare not take that here. We have king h8, knight e4, and there's pressure on the king side. Again, black did not take on a5. It looks far too dangerous here. We have bishop f8. Rook h4, b5 was played, and now Lila plays knight f6, sinks the knight into f6. This is extremely dangerous for black. If g takes, this wasn't played, then just taking here is very, very strong. For example, like this is crushing. And if knight takes, this is just it's de devastating. This pawn structure is being eroded. White's just winning that quite easily. So black's in severe difficulty already here, rook d8. And the other rook comes in, rook e to e4. These beautiful squares, a4 and e4, being used for both rooks. Queen e7, bishop g5, queen c7, queen d2. White's just building up and up. Black is just helpless here. Knight takes f6, e takes f6. We have king h7, f takes g7. It's all over really by the shouting already. It's just total devastation, uh, this position. Look at black's pieces, they're just helpless, especially this bishop still stuck in its own pawn chain. King side's just been destroyed here. We have the move king g8 on bishop takes g7. In fact, there's an incisive, very incisive bishop f6 here available. So, for example, bishop takes, queen takes h6, and the other rook can swing across to checkmate. So it's absolutely all over already, basically, this game. Uh, here. So we have f takes, king g8, and <laughs> Leela under-promotes a knight here, apparently, a sense of humor as well. King takes, rook takes h6, King eight, knight e5. It's absolutely crushing, threatening. Rook h8, checkmate. The knight covers the d7 escape square. Black took on e5 desperately, and here just adjudicated as a win for white. So an absolutely devastating game. This is one of the most devastating in this match against Stockfish Seven. One of the fastest victories in the, in this virtual tournament. So uh, very, very dangerous rook left there early on with rook a4 as part of this, from this opening. And then the other rook left to e4 was impressive. It was just in the indefensible, that's kingside. Hope you got something from that. Comments, questions, likes, shares appreciated. Thanks so much.